Sochi here with today's class on how you can practically, in a practical manner, start your day in a spiritual manner. I figured that there are a number of people who know they're supposed to go to their altar, know they're supposed to call on their spiritual crew, they know all these things, but one of the things is that they ask is, how do I start? I have my altar, I know about different things, I've watched so many YouTube videos, Facebook videos, but what are some practical steps for me to do in order to get started for my day? Okay, so what I'm going to share here is one of the things I do share with my coaching students, you know, those students who come to me for spiritual practice coaching. And understand this, I don't do spiritual coaching, I do spiritual practice coaching. Because in my coaching, I teach you the practical aspects of spirituality. So we're not going to uh, the seventh level of the eighth dimension, connecting with the discords of the angelic Snapchat or something like that. No, we're not doing anything esoteric like that. We. We, in, in my coaching, I teach how you get started. This is what you do. This is what you do. This is what you do. Okay. So what we're going to talk about very briefly in today's class is something you can do to start your day. So a little bit of housekeeping before we get started. You know, we do a little bit of housekeeping. So be sure to get the pen, the notebook, get the drink, get the snack, um, and get yourself situated to learn something very practical you can use in your spiritual walk. If you need me for your divinations, consultations, Reiki, spiritual practice coaching, products, services, um, co um, books, courses, please go to my website at tochi.us, T-O-C-H-I dot U-S. I don't do transactions outside of my website. If anyone is coming in the comment sections, uh, writing, I can help you. I have a message for you. I have good news for you. I have bad news for you. I felt something in my spirit about you. Here's my number. Call me. It's a scammer. There is no way of prettifying that. It's a scammer. Experienced spiritual practitioners are too busy to be going in the comment section and saying, call me. I have some information for you. Okay. If people are coming to the comment section to give you their phone number, their email, their WhatsApp number, their Telegram uh, handle, whatever it is that they're putting in the comment section, if they are writing you in the comment section, if someone is reaching out to you in the comment section that they want to help you, it is a scam. S-C-A-M. Scam. Okay? Scam. Scam. Nobody who wants to help you will approach you in the comment sections, okay? I got to repeat that because I see that some people are still falling for that mess. All right, so let's get started. One of the things you can do that will help you, help you, help you, help you, help you, and I've done this for so many years. I've done it in so many places. I have taught on it. I share it with my coaching students is this. Write out a big, bold list of how you want to start your day. It might be one of the simplest yet most overlooked things that you can possibly do. But it is something that you need to do. Because when you wake up in the morning, most of us, when we wake up in the morning, the first thing we want to do is grab our phone and start checking Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, uh, whatever, Graham, we want to start reading messages, reading emails. And before you know it, the day has gotten away from you. Um, your, your mind is already filled with some worry, anxiety. I got to, oh, somebody called me. I got to return their call and this and that. And your day does not start right. So here is a very simple thing that you can do. You can take um, a large uh, piece of paper, okay, a large piece of paper. Okay, they sell these. Uh, this one that I have here is actually, uh, let me see. I got this from um, a store. 
it's um, a sketch pad, okay? And I've had this for years. I've had this for years. This is a sketch pad. So you can go to a store where they sell art supplies and you can get a big sheet like this. Please note how big it is. See that? That's longer than my hand. Half of it. My hand is about half the width. And this is like two, three, four, about three and a half of my hand. So it's big. It's not like a little itty bitty sheet. And you will see the reason why I'm emphasizing the size. It has to be large. If you can get a poster sheet, that's also great. I find this one handy because this size I can take with me wherever I'm going. Um, you know, because, you know, I travel quite a bit. I do work around uh, domestically and internationally. So um, this is a good size. I can throw this inside a large suitcase, okay? And so you want a sheet of paper, okay, or post or cardboard that is at least this big. Look at how big it is. Because I know someone's going to get an A-size sheet or they're going to let get a letter-size sheet and say, well, um, Mama Dr. Tochi, I got this sheet, but I can't see what I wrote on it. Get a big sheet, okay? On the big sheet, in bold letters, you are going to list how your day is going to start. You see how bold this is, okay? So you can read this from a good distance, even if you're short-sighted, okay? At the top, you can write daily routine or daily practice. I kind of prefer daily practice, but you can put daily routine. Whatever works for you, put it at the top so that reminds you what this list is for, okay? And you can see here, the first thing I write here is bathroom. So once I get up, bathroom. Second th thing is I do stretches. I will stretch myself. Sure, stretch. Sometimes the stretches happen before the bathroom, depending on how full my bladder is. But um, you want to do these two things first so that you can do the other things. If you start doing the other things, but you didn't go to the bathroom or the stretch, you get distracted. So that's why I write it here. So that we don't forget, go to the bathroom door stretches. After doing that, you can now listen to some inspirational music or message or messages, okay? The reason why you want that to be the first thing you do before you start switching on your phone, reading your phone, uh, getting out of bed and running around like a chicken with a head cut off is because you want to set your mental and emotional tone of your body and your spirit before you start heading out the door, okay? You want to set that tone as early as possible. So even if it's a five-minute message or five minutes of inspirational music, go for it. Sometimes people get cut up. Oh, I'm no longer a religious person. I'm a spiritual person. Listen to five minutes of spiritual uh, music. Um, I kind of prefer my gospel music. Listen to that. Whatever rocks your boat. Um, sometimes I listen to um, the Quran. You know the the recitation of the Quran. Do I understand Arabic? No, I don't. But the reason I listen to it is because of the tone, the tonality, and how it is recited. And if you get a good recitation, it sounds like music, and you will actually feel the change in your body. I like listening to Al Fatiha. I like listening to the Four Cools. Uh, and there's some others that I listen to. Okay, so I don't need to understand, but I know that because I can get a transliteration of the of of the Quranic recitation. I know that they're saying something positive. Look onto your Creator, hope on your Creator, put your faith and trust in your Creator. All glory be to the Creator and things of that nature. So you can do that. You can be a spiritual person, but be very discriminate as to the kind of religious music you listen to. 
Um, I think we did a touching base one time when we discussed Amazing Grace and how, uh, and then some other song, uh, Jesus Have Mercy on Me, I think that was the song, and how depressing that music could be because the emphasis of that music is, oh, save me, I'm a wretched sinner, uh, have mercy on me, uh, don't let me go to hell and things like that. So even though the music kind of sounded nice, but the lyrics were whack. So you want to make sure that whatever you're listening to, whether it's a message or music, that the lyrics are clean, okay? You want to make sure they're clean. They're not saying anything, oh, come and save me, my life is wrecked. It doesn't matter how beautifully someone is singing, my life is wrecked. As long as you're singing along, you're inviting wreckage into your life. So I hope you get what I mean. All right. So right after listening to that message, the next thing is the altar practice. Go to the altar and do what we need to do at the altar, okay? After doing that, start of the day. After doing that, start of the day. Now, when you have something like this, what you do is you place this on the wall. Stick it on the wall, not on the mirror, not in the book, not on the table, on the wall so that once you get up it's the first thing you see and it reminds you this is the fir first things i need to take care of before i start rushing out into the world don't put this on the table don't put it under the bed saying oh i'm gonna remember i'm going to touch it no you're going to have situations where maybe you woke up a little bit earlier you went to bed a little bit too late and you're jumping out of bed and you will not remember to uh, lay your hands on the sheet so that's why you put it on the wall because once you put it on the wall near your bed where you can see it, once you get up, you'll be like, what's that on the wall? Boom, bam. It reminds you that this are the things you need to do. And if you have this, um, if you get this down uh, pretty good, you could be done with this in, in 30 minutes or less. Frankly, you could be done with this in 30 minutes or less. Now, of course, if you are a spiritual practitioner, you might be spending more time at your altar practice, so it may take a little more than 30 minutes to accomplish. Well, if you enjoy today's class and you learned something new, let's have your eye in the comment section below this video. We are thankful to our Creator, our Guardian Spirits, our Ancestors, our Spirit Guides, and all those in the Unseen Realms who teach us what we need to know so that we can be successful in our spiritual lives and practice. Ashe.